Hey guys, this is Spellstar, and this is my second money making guide. This one's even better, more new and improved. So, I hope you enjoy it, and it helps you make mills. So, my first little trick or money making tip that I have is uh, Unicows. So, first, how you get there is you could just teleport to a rounding door, or I, I have this. Uh, it's the rewards cape from the task system that they have set. <clears throat> so you can teleport to this monastery. You run just behind it to where it, no, 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 no. Just behind it and then you go. <laughs> My directions are confused. Oh, where am I? Oh yeah, right here. So you just run right east of it, and there's the Tower of Life. This one has a quest requirement, unfortunately, but it's pretty easy. And then I think you also get that like full builder's outfit, which, which looks pretty cool. Then you climb down this ladder, or this trapdoor, once you get there. And you run all the way to the north. What is this? Talk to Homo Noculus. <laughs> oh, it's Homo I'm another one. I don't remember this. Um, but anyway, you run over here. Oh, look, another noob's doing it. So what you would do is, oh, and I don't want to grind it. You activate this thing. You have... You now have the, what's it? Uh, inspect. And you have unicorn, horn of unicorn. Oh, I have to use it on it. Oh, yeah, so you use the horn on the thing, and then you use the cowhide on here. And then you activate symbol of life. You have materials. Here goes. And then you kill it. See, so you get XP for this. It's pretty easy, though. And then, oh, look at this. Look at what I do. Oh, no, I don't want to be killed. Get back down there, sir. So let's see. Price check. So what you want to bring is like 20 of these cow hides and one horn. So for a 3k worth, you get 8k. So that's pretty good. That's like 5k, and it took like nothing. Oh gosh, no. So then you just click use unicorn horn, use cowhide, and you could bring a summoning familiar if you wanted. So you could store all the more room that you needed. Uh, so then that would just make it easier. But I just brought one. So then you just keep repeating this over. So you just like use this on here. Uh, oh, I keep accidentally grinding. Then you use that on here. And you can activate it. And then you can delete this quick. And then you can just keep killing it. So you see that's like a pretty easy way. Faster than dragons. And easier to kill the, this than dragons. So it's an all better. All better. Here's my stats. Just want to show you my XP. And so, moving on. Okay, so here's what we got after 10 minutes of doing this. It was literally just 10 minutes. It, it might have even been less. I got 113k. That took, like, no time at all. So if you had a summoning familiar, maybe 150k. So, 10. If you do this for an hour, 6 times 150k, that's, like, 6, like, 800k-ish. Like 800k an hour, that's like pretty crazy, and it took like no effort at all. And then what else? These cows dropped these cool little suitcases, so you can have your little purse. How cute! And they also hold like triangle sandwiches and stuff. And moving on. Hey guys, so I have the second way right here. 
which is pretty, this is what you do for XB, and you can make money at the same time. So what you do is you have either a spirit spider, which requires 10 summoning, or a fruit bat, which requires 69 summoning, I think. Somewhere, somewhere near that. Ugh, stupid yak. Um, so what you would do is you'd set your CFDs tier things on, such like right here. So on your elk, it's just like that. And then you select left follower details. You click special move. So then it, whenever you click on this, it'll just automatically do the special move. So first to show you price check, one of these is 200 k. I mean 200 GP. And then, so if I do this thing, I, I spawn, and they can spawn like up to like five of these or something. Oh, I'm gonna pick it up. What, what, where'd it go? Oh, right here. So then if I price check this, 890 GP. So that's like 700 GP gain right there. So if you can buy like thousands of each of these things, so then you can just be like elk like this, get in your XB, and these sapphire bracelets, you only lose like 50 GP at most, I think. And then you can just like throw in one of these, spawn some spider eggs, do a couple elks, do one of these, spawn some spider eggs, do some elks, do one of these, get your summoning XP in there too, your one XP, and look at all these eggs that are just spawning. So then you just keep doing this. I'll just let this get to use all my bracelets up and everything. Almost got it. Uh, so you see, this is a pretty easy way to make money. Then you, ugh, looters. Don't like getting my eggs. So then you just go around, pick up all, why is he trading me? What do you want? Oh, see, look at, oh. And then, I like to do it. God, get away from me. Stop trading me. What do you want? What? Speak full. To get my eggs. That's right. You better run. Get my nice fat. T-Y. I'm not fat. <laughs> Turning his back off. He's a bully. See, see? You just loot that. And you just go to the bank and you can bank it. Didn't even use 10 of them. So for, I used 9 of them. And it cost under 2k. And then I get 20k back. 20k. And then I elk some. So I lost like 1k maybe. So then that means... Sorry about that, I got interrupted. So yeah, anyway, so that's like easy 20k plus the like, how much XP was that? 20 elks times 60. Well, yeah, so it's like the one hour of elking plus the, that was like 20k made right there in a minute. So 20 times 60. You know what? Um, do do do. Calculator. You guys can see this yourselves. So let's say 20k times 60 minutes. That's 1.2m an hour. So then, uh, then the XP, that's 65 XP per elk times 20 of them, about a minute. So times 60, 78k XP. And then if you have your Haiti pause on, times that by two. 156k mage xp an hour plus the 1.2m cash that you make from the eggs and then if you were to do the fruit bats you collect mangoes and oranges and that's like two mil an hour it's like extremely good money so that's another thing to do
Um, let's see. What else is there? Okay, so that's what you could do for that one. And moving on. This is another thing I have going right now. This, uh, you buy, this will only work for a little bit though, but it's the same, uh, concept. So you can buy for 1360, 1.36M, the Dirox Helm, and then you can sell for 1370K. It only works at this price, but it will work for, like, any of the other prices. It takes, like, five minutes to sell, so you just keep rotating it in and out. So then that's like an easy way to make 10k Like every five minutes you can like do this You can buy like 10 of these You're, like selling 10 of these. See there's another sale And then this one will buy soon But so then you can like go Do that spider thing that I showed you or do a unicow trip come back and like rotate it out There's a hundred K uh, Who's my um, so then you can do that pretty easily. So that's just another way to do it. And moving on. Okay, and then another way that you can make money while getting XP. That's kind of the theme of this video, about money with XP. Is, of course, hunting for red chimpamamunka munkas. Oh, I'm trying to... This noob stole my spot. Actually, I'm stealing his. Made across. Okay, so let's see. Get in my box trap. There we go. Usually go faster than this, but ooh, 265 XP. But there's that other guy here. Ooh, look at there's another one. That took five seconds, and I just made like 5k. Race check that. Easy 3.2k. Oh look, there's another one. That brings up to 5k. And there's like, another like, and that's like 1k of XP. Oh, he broke my box. Ah, oh, he went in my other one. So you see, this is pretty good way to make money and get XP. It's the same with the other Chimpamamunkas too. Or however you say it, Chimchampas. I like Chimpamamunkas. Let's see, in that like 20 seconds, I just made 6k, so let's see, bring out the calculator, bam, so 6k times 3, that equals 1 minute, so 18,000 a minute, times 60 minutes, that's uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, zero. oh, 1.08m. Oh, I have to go collect more boxes. So you see, that's like 1M an hour, and I'm only 67 hunter. So, a leg. So you see how that can be pretty easy. It's another 1M. So if you're one of those people that play like 4 or 5 hours a day, that's an easy 5M a day. So if you even just played like an hour a day, and you play it every week or something, one, five times a week, five times every week, times the whole year, you'll have a party hat in a year, except most people will get lucky and make way more than that, so have a party hat in a couple months, but yeah, that's another way to make it, I'm going to try to think of maybe one more before, and then I'll be done with the video. Then there's also the Darok making set, where you buy a full Darox, not in the set, and then you make it into a set. It's like anywhere from like 100 to 300k each set made, and you can make like 3 or 4 every hour or so. So it's like an easy 500k like every hour. And then, so that's pretty easy. Oh, bought another Darok helm. So you see, actually I just made another 40k. So about four of them. Oh, oh, it disappeared. But yeah. That's, uh, you should check out my other video. That has, like, another money-making guide. And I'm giving away the 25 mil. So, 
I'll try to get you one more guide, if I can find one. Okay, so I'm able to bring you uh, one more for this episode of Money Making Guide thing. So where I am right now is that, um, you know it's that place in the Lumbridge Swamp where you go underground and there's all the fairies. And what's the name of that? This will be just a moment. <laughs> oh yeah, Xanarus. Xanarus. It's in the Lumbridge Swamp in that shack. You can like use your Draymon staff to get there. Or if you have the fairy ring, then you probably know how to get there. Just use the fairy ring. That's why I get here. So then, in this crop circle, you enter. Whoa! And then, it brings you here. So, I have my jar. I get an implant jar. Implant jar. You can buy some too if you want. I just, oh, what, what? So then you push through the magical wheat. I guess you get XP for that. So then all you pretty much do is hunt. Catch a snake nature one. Oh, 250 XP. So I get XP for that. Free check it. 8k. Took 3 seconds to click on it. Oh, let's get this one. Oh, that bugger it got away. Let's catch this one. Oh. Let's price check that too. Hmm. 16k. That took a whole nothing. It took like no time at all. Let's catch this little one. This one's a cheaper one, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna cheap me out. Alright, pick it. Get it, get it. Is that what I want? Oh, I'm out of jars. Huh? So I just. Yeah, see, so you can. Where am I? Where's all my jars? Yeah, so you know, you can just, like, bring more jars, so you don't have to loot all of them out of your thing. But, ah, come back here. But or else, yeah. And the jars are relatively cheap, only 200 GP each. Come on. Oh, I missed. Let's get this one. Oh, now I'm failing. Come on, hit it. Oh, no, I get that one. No. No, 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 oh, <gasps> what is that one? Oh, I'm too low of level for it. Okay, let's just get this one. Yes. Well, you have better luck than me. And see, they can have, like, up to King Me and everything. I'm only 67 Hunter, as you know. So, I can't get the expensivest one. So, for that, like, minute, I made... 20k, 22k. Let's bring out the trusty, husty calculator. Trusty, dusty calculator. 22, oh, clear. 22,000. 1060. 1 1.3 mil an hour. And that can vary from like 1 mil for the lower peoples up to like. Well, I don't know. If you got like a kingly implant. Or some dragon implants or stuff, you could get like up to like 5 mil an hour. It, yeah, but the average is like 1 point. Around the mil, around million mark. That's about the average per hour. So then again, there's another easy 1 mil. Oh my gosh, except it's really. You can use snare, or where is it? The. Where is this? Get it. Oh, I'm out of jars, that's why. That's embarrassing. Get it. Oh, no, it's a nature one. Push, I must get it. Oh, I guess we're running. So what was I talking about? Oh, running all the way around. Do, 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 do. Oh, it died. Push through. Push. Okay. I'm not sure how much zombie ones are worth. Oh, spirit ones, I like those. They give you charms and stuff. Oh, if you catch them. No. See, that's why... Oh, oh, oh. That's why you have to have... 
That's why I want to have a better summoning. Oh, is that an electric? That's why I want a better summoning. So that's 3 XP. Oh, I need a jar. Input jar. Oh, I just KO'd it. Input jar. Let's get this one. Dun 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 dun. And this is relatively more fun than. Oh, I can get this one set. Oh, that's a noob. I don't want you. GTFO, baby. Let's loot it. Drop, I don't want your flax. Let's loot it. Loot. I don't want it. You're junk. Ooh, I had a tool belt. Oh, I already got it. Let's get a good one now. Ooh, is that one? Nature. Yes. Pretty sure nature is one of the more expensive ones that I can catch. So let's see. See if my goal is. Oh, what? No. No. Yeah, these little imps, they try to loot your stuff. But did he. I try to steal it. See if you have this imp repellent, which you can get from this place. In the center, he, you like trade in imps and he like gives you junk like this, like this thing and this thing and the green butterfly knot. He like gives you that for some implings. So let's see. I made. There's another 40k. Took no effort. So you see, it's not that hard. Just to uh, make this money. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, try to be nice if you, like, posted how much you made or just like the video or something. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And, bye.